Today we're testing out the Nike SB Dunks in court purple. These shoes are super hard to get and I never understood what the big hype was around them. Until I tried them on, they're actually super comfortable and they look pretty darn sick. If you're returning to the channel, you know I'm gonna skate these shoes until they're completely destroyed. And then once they are, I'll come back, check in, let you know whether they're good, bad, whether or not you should get a pair for yourself. So we're gonna go hit the streets and I'll see you guys in a few weeks. I've been skating the Nike SB Dunk Lows for 32 days now to be exact and I gotta say, these shoes skated way better than I was expecting. To start things off, these shoes are incredibly hard to get. Nike only makes a certain amount every drop so skate shops typically hold raffles and only if you win the raffle are you actually able to buy the shoe. I was lucky enough to win the raffle and I bought these shoes for $100. However, these same shoes are now selling online for over $300. Personally, I could never sell the shoes, I definitely had to skate them so let's check them out now and we'll see how they're looking. After an entire month of skating these shoes, the laces are shredded, the sides are worn out, I completely blew out the front toe cap. The only part of the shoe that's still in one piece is the bottom outsole, which actually held up pretty good. Dunks do come with a little lace protection pad, however you have to untie the entire shoe and relace it just to use it. In my experience with other shoes as well as these, the pad rips off super quick so I don't even bother using it. My first lace ripped after a week of skating, which is actually pretty good. I tied it to the side, kept skating, it was holding up just fine. After about a week, I swapped it out with a new lace, same thing happened, it ended up ripping. Currently the bottom two loops have ripped and the third one's just hanging on by a thread. Even if you have a ripped lace, you can just tie it to the side and your shoe stays on your foot super well. The court purple dunks are actually all leather, so if you get a colorway that's made out of a different material, just keep that in mind. They might hold up a little differently than mine did. Looking at the side of the shoe, they're definitely worn out. However, there's not a single hole that goes all the way through the shoe until you make your way up to the toe. Just a few days before I retired these shoes, I noticed the top area here starting to tear. There was a tiny hole forming making contact with my foot, but since it was on top of the shoe, it really didn't make a difference when I was skating. A few more days of skating resulted in the entire toe blowing out, and now I I can't even ollie without my toes rubbing on the grip tape. Yes, the dunks are completely destroyed now. However, I still got a full 32 days worth of skating out of them. That's longer than any other shoe I've ever reviewed. So now that we know the dunks are very durable, let's talk about how they skated. Dunks are a bulky cup sole shoe, so they definitely had a bit of a break-in period. At first, they were very stiff and super grippy, making it a little awkward for flip tricks. After about an hour session at the park, the shoes loosened up a bit, I started to get used to them on my feet, and pretty much all of my flip tricks came back as well. As with most bulky shoes, I quickly learned that heel flips work super well on the dunks. Whenever you get a shoe with a super thick upper right here, it just makes heel flips a breeze. You don't have to worry about it hitting your ankle. 
and honestly, they just flick super well. Just be warned, if you do enough heel flips, you are gonna rip this upper layer here. However, it doesn't really affect your skating at all. It just makes them look a little less pretty. Dunks fit great. They are designed for more of a wider foot, so if you have super narrow feet, they might feel a little loose on you. For me, they fit to size, and they slip on and off your foot super easily. I did a lot of jumping in these shoes, and I learned that they take impact very well. I stayed on that one. <laughs> The shoes come with the standard Nike Zoom Air insole. It's pretty much the same as any other insole you'll find in a Nike SB shoe. It's got a little pad up front, pad on the heel. They take impact really well and they're comfortable for daily use. Personally, I did not think these shoes would actually skate this good. I never bought them before just because I thought they were all hype and overpriced, but now that I tried them, I am itching to get another pair. Most dunks right now are selling from anywhere from 200 all the way up to $8,000, depending on the colorway. The most expensive pair I could find online right now were the Dunk Floms, which stands for, for the love of money. These were released back in 2005 and one pair recently sold for $35,000. $35,000. That's insane. Like new car or shoes? Definitely the shoes, right? Don't get me wrong. Dunks look amazing. They're very fashionable, but unless I had all the money in the world, I would not spend more than $200 for a pair of these. I'm probably going to stick to cheaper and more easy to get shoes. However, if I ever find another pair of these at retail cost, I am definitely gonna hop on and pick them up. Hopefully I was able to answer any questions you had about the dunks, and if not, drop it in the comments. I'll be happy to get back to you there. While you're in the comments, let me know which shoe I should review next, and I'll see you guys next week with some more intel. Peace. <laughs> Bless me. Ha <laughs> <laughs>